In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. There is one body and one spirit. There is one hope in God's call to us. One Lord, one faith, and one baptism. One God and Father of us all. As Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father. We too might walk in newness of life. Stand and join us in singing, Oh, when the saints go marching in. is All Saints Day. This is a time to remember with thanksgiving to God, all people redeemed by Jesus throughout history and especially our own loved ones. Originally, All Saints Day celebrated the lives of martyrs, those who died for their faith in Jesus. All Saints Day is a day of rejoicing not that we or our departed loved ones have been such great saints, but that our Savior has graciously numbered us along with his saints and his own beloved people. We are surrounded by faithful saints as God calls them in Hebrews chapter 12, a great cloud of witnesses. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and the perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Who are these saints we celebrate? Let's see if you recognize some of God's faithful people from Old Testament. Oh, when the saints come marching in. Noah. What's that? Who's there? Noah, this is the voice of your God. God? Yes, God. I have seen that the entire earth has become corrupt and evil. I am surely going to destroy both them and the earth. So make yourself an ark. I'm going to bring floodwaters on the earth to destroy all life under the heavens. Everything on earth will perish, but I will establish my covenant with you. And you will enter the ark, you and your sons and your wife, and your sons' wives with you. You are going to go into the ark. Two of all creatures may come with you. Are you serious? Absolutely. Okay, if you're sure, I'll trust you, God, and I will listen to your word. Finally, dry land. I'm glad I'm alive and all that, but those animals were starting to stink. Hey, look at that. That's pretty. Oh, bow in the sky. Never again will I curse the ground because of humans, and never again will I destroy all living creatures as I have done. Marching in, oh Lord, I want to be in that number. Abraham. God, is that you again? Yes, Abraham, it is me again. I want you to take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain I will show you. What? Are you sure? Yup, I'm sure. Okay, God. I know that you're in charge of everything, and that you have planned, and I know that you have promised me this son, Isaac, and I know you have promised to make him a great nation. I know you are good on your promises, God. So if you ask me to sacrifice Isaac, then you must have something greater than I can imagine. I trust you will keep your promise, even if that means raising Isaac from the dead.
Abraham, Abraham. What, God? I'm in the middle of doing what you told me to do. Do not lay a hand on the boy. Do not do anything to him. Now that I know you fear God, because you have not withheld me from your son, your only son. Okay, God, I trust you. Thank you, God. My son Isaac was as good as dead. Look over there. There's a ram stuck in the bush. <laughs> I will sacrifice that lamb to you instead. Thank you, God, for what you have done for me. Hey, look at that! A burning bush! I wonder what's going on over there. Moses. What? Who's there? I am the God your father. I have indeed seen the misery of the people in Egypt. So I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of the land into a good and spacious land. So now go. I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. Me? You want to send me? I can't speak. I'm not TikTok famous. No one listens to me. I don't have enough followers. I'm not special. You should ask Addison Ray instead. Fine, I'll go. I trust you, God. Pharaoh, ruler of Egypt. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel says. Let my people go. Um, no. Testament saints. First, Stephen. He joined in sharing the message of Jesus with the disciples after Jesus ascended into heaven. He preached the word of God and gave his life as the first Christian martyr. You all killed Jesus, but he rose from the dead, proving that Jesus is the Lord of everything. You need to stop resisting the Holy Spirit. You all need to repent. Okay. Lord, do not hold this sin against them. Paul's life was changed by Jesus to start and grow many churches. Even from prison for preaching the good news, he wrote, To my brothers and sisters in Rome, who shall separate us from the love of Christ, shall trouble or hardship or per persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword, as it is written, For your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors, conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord.
proud for the faithful people he places in our lives to know the love of Jesus. They are saints walking beside us in our journey of faith. The person that impacted my faith the most is my religion teachers. They choose to spread the word that they believe in. They are the true followers of God and want to share it with others, as it says in the Bible. I am so thankful that they can help me find my path in my faith. And they help me understand God's true power. My religion teachers are truly the people who impacted my faith the most. A leader of faith. Growing up at St. Paul, I've had many people who have led me in and taught me about my faith. One of those people was Miss Frazier. Miss Frazier has taught me so much in the past nine years. She has shown me how to live out my faith and sets an example for our community. To start off, she is, she is an amazing coach that shows you how to express faith and leadership while playing a sport and participating on a team. Because of Miss Frazier, I know how to behave and be kind and encourage everyone in sports. She has also taught me how to pursue God's purpose for us. She does this by always lending a helping hand. She constantly is helping everyone at St. Paul, from the kindergartners to the eighth graders to her fellow staff. I look up to Ms. Frazier as a great leading Christian and try to thank her very often for all she does for me and the school. Someone who influences my faith life is my grandma. She always helps me get my faith stronger. She, we also go to church every Christmas Eve. It is like our little tradition. She has a great relationship with God, and I hope to have it the same way that she does. She is a great faith role model. On All Saints Day, we remember those who have gone before us in faith and those who surround us in faith. We don't remember them because of any action they did or because of how good of a person they were on their own. We remember them because of their faith in Jesus. We remember how they had their eyes fixed on Jesus and Jesus' love for them. And we recognize how their lives have shaped and impacted us. Because of them, we get to learn more about Jesus. They let us know that Jesus loves us and forgives us and will always be with us. Today we thank God for these great scenes that he has put in our lives because they help point us to Jesus. Let us pray. Jesus, you declare us to be your saints because you have made us holy through your blood. Thank you for the saints already in your glory whom you kept faithful throughout their lives. Thank you for gathering your saints together for eternity. We are blessed. Amen. Please stand together as we sing the song, Yes. especially those saints who have gone before us who were baptized into Christ Jesus. But we also get to recognize and celebrate those who have been baptized in Christ this month as well. In baptism, we are clothed in Christ's righteousness, and because of this righteousness, we too get to be called saints by God. 
Stand up if you are celebrating November baptisms. In holy baptism, our sins are forgiven, and we are granted a new life in Christ our Lord. We solemnly renounce the devil and all his works and all his ways. We confess the gift of faith in God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do you renounce the devil in all his works and all his ways? I do renounce them. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty? Yes, I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son? Yes, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Yes, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please put your offerings in your basket for Boca Helping Hands. Please join us in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand to sing Kids of the Kingdom. Kids of the Kingdom!
We need one more. We need funny things. Um, one more. Let's go. God, is that you again? Okay, can you look at the camera? Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I thought that's God. Okay. Thank you, CJ. That's what I need. Huddle close. Huddle under the umbrella. Huddle under the umbrella. A lot of water. And stay there. <laughs> My name is Moses. But you're not. Oh. You're Abraham. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> the wig keeps falling. I want to redo that. Okay. <laughs> oh, I wish I wasn't the narrator. I'm a shaper. Can't touch this. My name is Sebastian, oh. and I love the Lord. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh. Do it one more time, no laughing. Yeah. All right, hold up. Oh, Someone's calling me.